Okay, so let's continue with making uh, our comment box. Um, in the last tutorial, uh, we basically made up um, the actual comments list uh, holder area. Is it called the comments list holder? Yeah, the comments list uh, holder area. And now we can actually continue to make uh, the individual um, boxes where the comments itself are going to uh, going to go inside. So let's jump over to our index page. Now, within sort of the comments list. Uh, we're going to basically um, uh, make then a un unordered list, and then we're going to call this um, the comments holder and UL, okay? And then within side of this, each um, <laughs> IL, no, LI, <laughs> uh, we're going to uh, give each one a class of comments holder, okay? And the ID for the time being we're going to give as a underscore one. This ID is going to become apparent later on when we do the JavaScript, okay? Because this is going to ha how we're going to actually uh, identify each comment um, specifically uh, by their ID, okay? Which is the ID which we're going to get from the database when we list them out. So uh, let's now do the CSS for this. So we have to now uh, do the CSS for these um, these boxes. Okay, so let's come down here, and we're going to then just say ul, and then the comments uh, um, dash holder dash ul, and the first thing we want to do is then knock out any uh, list style types. We're just going to say list style type I is equal to none or is none, and we're going to say margin zero pixels. Now I know we did the wildcard of saying um, margin zero, but I like just to be just to be sure that it's gone. Okay and uh, the padding is equal to zero as well. Now we don't want any uh, padding or margin on this but we do want um, the width to be auto and then the height to be whoops, auto too. So it's auto expanding, okay, width and height. Now because it might have some float um, elements within inside of it, we're just going to say overflow is equal to hidden. Okay, and then let's just copy um, this because I want to be uh, specific about what it is that we're doing. Okay, and then we're just going to say li comment holder. Okay, and let's just push this down. And once again, in this, just to be explicit, I'm going to say list style type is equal to none. And in this, for example, we're going to say then background is equal to fffff5, which is just going to be a light um, grey for the time being, and height. Although we're going to have auto, we're going to just set with 50 pixels first of all, um, just for um, testing. Okay, and width is equal to auto. The margin we're going to do five pixels top, um, no pixels right, and then five pixels bottom and no pixels left. Um, this is so then uh, each comment is going to be. Um, you can identify each comment. So let's have a look at what uh, we've got at the moment. We've only got one li in there so far, so it's probably better to stick another another one in there anyway. So let's just uh, reduce this down. And let's just copy this n then. Okay, we don't have to worry about the IDs for now. Let's just refresh this. Okay, now we've got two when you can't really see them um, at the moment, but what we are going to do is we're going to knock the uh, border out of comments list because we don't want that and we're going to adjust it very very slightly okay so the comments list we're going to come back to which should be on line 55 if you're copying um, what I'm doing and we're just going to uh, remove the the actual uh, border from that so let's have another look and what we'll see what we got okay at the moment we can't really see much so let's add a border to each um, li the li dot comment holder um, that we have and let's make uh, the border of one pixels all the way around solid and let's just keep it together with the other borders that we got okay let's do a refresh now okay and now we can see um, that the boxes they, they've got their own their own little area but the um, the actual comment holder around the outside um, that's not that's not recognizing because they're they're going over now if I remember rightly we set a height to one of these things comments list okay comments list is only a height of 50 therefore um, the uh, the outer boxes are not overflowing okay so let's just set this comment list to height is equal to auto let's have another look at what it looks like 
Okay, now we can see that um, the actual outer box has auto expanded and it's um, sitting okay. So now let's just clean up some of this here. We can see that comments list has got a margin top of uh, 10 and of a margin bottom of 10. Now to me that's a little bit too much because the lowest the comment the the li dot comment holder has a margin of uh, five on the bottom therefore we've got, we've got a margin of 15 on the bottom at the moment so let's just remove that down uh, or let's reduce it down shall I say to five so it sits a little bit better okay that looks a little bit better to me okay because the 15 was just too much okay so now we've got these two um, boxes we want to do some form of rollover effect now we don't want to use JavaScript we just can use CSS so let's copy this and let's move this down and then let's just do a hover on here so then just um, brief uh, end it with then um, colon hover and we can say background is equal to then four five I don't know, let's just say two for the sake of purposes of doing this so far and let's refresh this okay and that's not working okay let's just say a bit of a red first of all <laughs> let's give that a refresh okay there we go all right so those colors weren't um, weren't different enough so the one website which I do like to go to um, to just to get quick colors rather than going through like GIMP or Photoshop whatever I like to go to the W3 schools because they have a good color picker so W3 uh, whoops W3 schools color picker and there it is okay and on here we can just get a, a kind of I'm just going to go for a yellow one but then we're going to go for a really faint faint yellow which was then zero and then we'll go for a, so we've got FFFFF zero if I said that right and then we're going to do it in FFF I don't know let's go for a bit of a darker one D8 okay that was seemed to be okay so we're going to go for a D8 on this did that have the hash on it yes it did okay so then we got all F's and then we got D uh, uh, DB sorry it was DB so now let's have a look at see what this does okay the, the yellows aren't particularly nice but it, it distinguishes that when you roll over um, it's changing properly which is what we want okay so now we've got the the actual comment boxes as such uh, all done what we now need to do is add an image into the left hand side and then the title or the person's name then the actual comment field itself so with inside of the first one we want to then um, basically separate this into two elements now we are going to have to um, make some form of um, size ratio here so we're going to have to fix the sizes permanently in this so the bo two boxes um, sit together because I don't particularly want to use any tables so we're going to say uh, user image okay it's going to sit in the left hand side and uh, source equals this for the time being and class user image pick let's just say okay let's close this up and then let's just make another div in here and say uh, user uh, username field for example and that probably could be done with an h3 or an h4 but let's just put it in here let's just say david thorne for the time being and no i'm not happy with that let's actually change this to an h3 and then let's change this then to comments text okay this is actually where the text is going to go so uh, the comments of the person will go here okay so we've added a few things here first of all let's do the div user image here and let's float that to the left all right okay so with inside of this comment holder we want to be really really explicit about what we're doing here uh, we want to then say dots user uh, image okay which was, was the box on the outside this one here 
and let's come over here and we say float left first of all and then height we're going to put as auto and width um, we're going to put as 120 pixels okay and then uh, background let's just do um, strong gray first of all okay to show you what but we need just to put a quick height in this otherwise the box won't appear so let's just do this okay well that's way too big <laughs> okay so 120 is way too big so we want more like kind of probably uh, 80 and let's just do height of 80 and I'd say that's still possibly possibly too big so we'll say 65 65 okay that that seems a little bit better to me okay because we want to have kind of a half decent picture I in there okay at the moment the li you can see because we um, we set it with just a standard height uh, we need to to um, make the height a little bit bigger okay we just put it as the height is equal to 50 so we're going to say auto now because we've put floated elements inside of here we need to now say uh, overflow is equal to hidden um, because in some browsers it's not going to recognize the auto expand um, specifically Firefox to be honest with you okay now by doing the um, overflow is equal to hidden um, we can see that the actual li comment holder itself auto expands to the right height and the bottom one that we had before because we've got height is, is equal to auto and we've got no content in it it's just showing the uh, the border itself which is good which is what we want um, okay so now that we've got this image holder let's format the uh, the h3 that we have here so the h3 uh, was username field okay which is what we want okay so let's just chuck that down there for now and let's just copy this whoops let's copy this so we're being totally explicit with this okay username field and this was an h3 as well h3 is there and we're going to say then height i think probably 25 would be okay and then floats left once again and line heights we're going to put as 22 pixels and then color for the time being we're going to say blue and font size we're going to make this font size relatively small and um, text in oh actually we say margin margin and uh, we'll just say left for the time being of 10 pixels and see what this looks like okay so that's a little bit better now um, this this obviously is just sitting um, like that and th then our comment text um, box is then pushing over so let's copy this and do our comment text shall we and we just say then dot comment text here now the first thing we're going to say here is clear both so it means it's going to ignore any floated elements uh, above it to the left and to the right see what we've got now okay that it was a little bit too much because obviously the image on the left hand side is is ignoring um, that one comment on the left hand side so the easiest option for, for w what we need to do here is just as for it to tell it to float left so it continues with this floating uh, schema okay um, but then that sits um, over there so we need to uh, be able to give this one this one h3 a little bit of height now this is where uh, the the mathematics in it comes into it with CSS uh, I'm sure there's other other ways of doing this but f for the sake of simplicity um, we could we could in this example um, okay now what we do is we'll make if we boost up this if we give this comment text um, some form of width let's say that this is then width is equal to auto and let's get rid of this float first of all and see whether we can okay that's and let's say display equals block maybe there's maybe there's another way of, of getting around this okay that's not doing it okay so let's have a look at our HTML first of all so now to be quite honest with you um, what I would do is I would actually 
um, wrap this whole area because we've got user image over to the left I would wrap this one whole area um, comments body for example just kind of making these names up as I go along wrap this whole comment a uh, body area um, up itself and then what we can do um, so let's just say comment body first of all so just keep this going in line let's just we're gonna we're gonna extend that a little bit further in a second so we'll say float left um, let's actually say width equals auto first of all let's see what we get from that okay we still get the same thing but let's then turn off this floating of this username field left okay because we don't need it it's inside of the box okay that works a lot lot better for me now okay basically what's happening here is that the image because it's floating left the comment body is not seeing it okay which is kind of kind of what we want um, we want that the, the um, the comment body to auto expand all the time so it doesn't matter um, with what size we do this whoops let's do that once again and let's bring this out as you can see we still get um, the fact of the matter is on this the actual outer is is being hard coded with 750 therefore it's not it's not actually um, auto expanding but we're getting the the type of thing um, which we want so we can now on this user image we could just say margin right because it should recognize um, the margin okay whoops let's just say that there so on the user image so on this box here we're gonna we're floating it left but we're saying hey we're gonna put a margin right on it to then actually do something as you can see now is it pushes the other stuff over Okay, which is potentially what we need here all right so it's it's looking better now we know that we can start doing um, some some more more things on this now the only problem is if we want to put a border on this h3 this border is not going to sit um, properly okay because of because of this one box area although um, yeah okay that's I mean it, it causes a couple of problems um, to us but we'll we'll resolve this let's reduce this comment um, text um, size down first of all because it's just too big we, we'll fix these problems as we go along okay so that's font size is now 11 which is a little bit better let's get rid of this this dreaded yellow as we hover because I don't like it okay so for the time being let's get rid of the hover um, state because it's just dreadful okay that's better okay so now we've done we've done this we need to add um, some form of an image into it okay I'm gonna um, stop this one tutorial here and we'll do um, the image because I actually haven't got an image for it yet so in between me doing the videos I'll go and grab an image from somewhere to place an image um, into it okay so I'll see you in the next the next part of the tutorials okay bye bye